From the start, they were two peas in a pod, balancing each other perfectly. They shared a quirky sense of humor, were easygoing, and always seemed to be in sync. As one friend put it, they always seemed to be on the same wavelength, no matter what they were doing. For Connor and Christine, it never seemed to be if their relationship would continue, but what step was going to come next. Connor, you are my favorite person in the entire world. One of the first things I noticed when I met you was how infectious and magnetic your personality is. Christine, when I first met you, I thought, dang, Maddie has one hot roommate, and I've never been more right. But what I didn't realize at the time was that in addition to your obvious outward beauty, you also had the purest heart and kindest soul of anyone I'd ever met. Connor, every aspect of my life is made better now that you're in it, and I can't wait to experience every sunrise and sunset with you. Today I can honestly say I get to marry my best friend, which is something I don't take for granted, since being your friend comes with a lot of perks. You're generous with your time, and you consistently go out of your way to help the people you care about, and you never ask for anything in return. Anyone who knows me well, knows that I am bad at making decisions without evaluating every single option. The one decision I've never had to give a second thought to was being with you. They say life is an adventure, and in these past five years I've found that to be true, and I can think of no one better to share it with than you. You are my greatest love and my greatest friend. I love you endlessly. I will always be the sun to your sunflower. I've loved you since we met. I love you now, and I will continue to love you for all the days to come. I am yours, always. And now, it is my honor to pronounce you married. You may now kiss. There was, a, there was a county fair going on. We go around the Ferris wheel and we see them. And it was probably the cutest thing I had ever seen. They were just swaying there in the music in the middle of a county fair. And that's when we knew, okay, they've, they've each found somebody special. Anywhere, no destination, this whole world asks for the taking brand new life out there just waiting. Oh, let's go. Depressingly, neither of us had been given flowers by previous partners, so it became our litmus test for men. Within a few weeks of our celebration of being single, Connor came into our lives, and he thankfully came bearing flowers. Make our own look. She couldn't have asked for a better match, and I loved watching Christine have the relationship and life she always envisioned come true. Connor and Christine, for the past years, you guys have been many things to us. You've been roommates, you know, you've been family, and honestly, you've been our best friends. And we are so excited for both of you, and we know that you're about to start a wonderful big adventure in your life, and you have the perfect partner to go on that adventure with. So you're going to handle all the challenges that come your way with the same way you've handled everything thus far, with joy, with kindness, and with an eternal love that you clearly share. <laughs> See, Connor truly is a professor of the humanities, and he had finally met his faculty peer for life. Both he and Christine honor all of those that they serve, which is virtually everyone they care about.
The two of them are unceasingly calm, cool, and collected. A perfect team, always working in harmony. You both deserve the best, and you've truly found it in each other. I hope you have a long and happy marriage filled with all of the flowers you deserve. Let's go! As I said before, Connor and Christine are an open book, and it's a beautiful book, and it's going to have a lot of pages in it, written wonderful stories. Look, baby.